Hey guys, Kev here, and I have something to unbox. This is a slip joint. So this was sent in by a uh, viewer of the channel. Shout out to them. I was actually trying to get a hold of one of these to review, so it works out. Doing it off camera so as not to show the address. And this person preferred to remain anonymous, which is fine with me. I am uh, reviewing the knife. So, uh, there we go. So, this is the Notorious EDC Kingpin. And looks like he has a, a slip that comes with it. Or maybe he sells these separately. And it looks just like a Jack Wolf slip. It's crazy. Um, I don't know if it's different, but it honestly feels identical to that. Um... But yeah, cool slip, so I would put it in upside down. I don't know how it was in there, but um, there's the slip. It says Notorious on the side, and this is the Kingpin. So I um, forget where I became avail uh, aware of this. I think it was just online on Instagram. He's got a pretty big following, and um, you guys know I'm a big uh, Jack Wolf Knives fan, so I have all the jack wolves and love them and it makes me uh slip joint curious you know to the point where i have designed one um that should be coming out soon at least on pre-order the urban ec barley but um i don't know so i do like to try other brands now i'm usually disappointed because uh, <laughs> jack wolf just has some kind of magic in it but uh let me get that right uh but, you know, I, it doesn't persuade me not to look into other stuff. So um, I was talking to Notorious EDC, I believe his name's Tom, about trying to get a pouch, which I still haven't scored a pouch. Um, and I did ask if I could check one of these out on loan. He did say he doesn't have any to, to loan out for review, which is perfectly fair. Um, you know, a lot of companies don't plan for that and i don't like asking for free stuff so like i wasn't gonna ask for uh you know like a review sample to keep like that's just not my style and if i don't like it then what do i you know i don't know it's just i'd rather have a loner so i can just say what i think you know what i mean um but anyway so uh somebody did say they had one and was willing to send it so that's how i got it i believe these are Ah, man, I don't remember the price. Two seventy five, dollars something like that. You're talking about titanium. I believe M390 could be 20 CV. We might find out. Um, and then you have um, a Riot construction. So this is done by Riot. I don't know if he lists that, but it's definitely a Riot. Um, and yeah, so here it is. Let me take my ring off. I don't want to damage this. And it is a... I guess you would call it a clip point, but it almost is a spear point, right? Um, it's kind of a spear point. Like, it's an interesting blade shape now that I have it in hand. From the uh, pictures, I was just like, yeah, that's a, you know, that's a harpoon clip point type thing. But I don't know. Uh, it's an interesting one. Um, it's actually going to be a little more usable than I expected, I think. Um, this is all stone washed, which is definitely not my jam at all. Um, I just think it looks too monochrome. It's just kind of, it's kind of ugly in my opinion, the uh, all stone washed. But he also has a blacked out one. Uh, I think he has ones with, um, does he have micarta? I think he has micarta. So there's different options. I don't see the blade steel, so I'm going to guess it's M390 just because it's Riot, it's overseas, etc. Um... It does have a fuller on it, and it does have a lot of the hallmarks from a Jack Wolf, like the, um, well, I guess the, the sharpening choil, and I don't know, that could be something that you just see on traditional knives, you know, I don't know, but it just looks exactly the same. Um, what else? Um, that's really it. I don't know why I said it has hallmarks. Um, I like the fuller for pinching, actually. 
So it's set up, instead of having a nail nick, which is traditional, it has this fuller on both sides, which is kind of nice as a lefty, right? And then um, you have on the Jack Wolves, you have a kick. So right here, this hits the bottom of the spring and stops the blade from over traveling and having the blade hit the edge hit you can push past that if you're you know um not careful and hit the edge on this you're gonna have a stop pin so there's a stop pin in there so you can just slam it down all you want it's not going to cause any issues i can see some writing inside so again we have notorious inside um, there's an N on the blade, so we know we know who it's from. Um, it's a bit of billboarding for me, but he's done it pretty hidden. Like, it's not bad. Um, the N's not obnoxious, you know. I'd rather it not be there, but that's, you know, it's whatever. Don't see the steel. That would have been cool if the steel was kind of, like, in there as well. But I'm not a big fan of putting the steel on either, so I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite. Nice lanyard hole. Um... I will say, aesthetically, it kind of does look like they made the knife, and then they were like, shit, we need a lanyard hole. <laughs> they just fucking drilled a hole through it, but um, it certainly works. Um, the screws look good. Um, they are not flush right here, but that's because you actually do have what seems to be a contour to the scale, which is cool. Um, the glaring thing for me, aesthetically, that um, just... There's two things for me, aesthetically, that don't do it for me on this. Now, I will admit, having it in hand, I like this a lot more than I anticipated. Um, another reason I did not just buy one to review is because I, I really wasn't that interested aesthetically. Um, I, I like the traditional vibe. You guys know, again, it's really hard for me not to, to bring Jack Wolf into this because it's really my only example of fantastic slip joints that i really like i do also have um the tactile bear here that i just got in this is usa main the quality uh on these two is in my opinion leaps and bounds better than this um and then this is uh, i would say a bound better than this but this is really good i can tell right away this has gapping issues on the spine there's a lot of blade play it's very mushy in the action. It's serviceable, and it's a good knife, you know? So I don't don't get me wrong. But, you know, um, for less money on these, um, at least on the DLC version, they're less. Um, on the Stonewash, I think they're like 200 so technically these are a bit more, but you get what you pay for. Anyway, the thing that sets this, you know, and this one's not the best example, because of the pattern. So let me grab another one. It's really the only one out of the norm. What sets this apart is it has the traditional lines, the traditional pattern, and then he mo he modernizes it with titanium, camo carbon, S90V, belt satin, right? Um, but it has uh, torques, but it has that traditional aesthetic to it right these two are kind of doing a faux traditional right like it has some traditional vibes you have a fake bolster you know you got flutes um but that's almost where it ends the nail nicks are you know really modernized there's uh i don't know the branding if that's a thing uh traditional or not. it has stop pins um you know, the, this one has um, the the stone, like, acid washing. This might even be an acid wash, not a stone wash. It's like a working finish, you know, like a heavy, it's like a blast and tumble kind of situation. Um, it has that. Um, it's all monochrome. Um, it has the fuller, the poon, like, just stuff you don't see on traditionals, right? And that's where... It's interesting because I'm not really an aesthetically traditional guy, but these just hit for me. I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, so I wasn't that interested because of that. But now that I have it in hand, it honestly uh, is it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, the one thing that OCDs the sh out of me on this is the pivot. It is 
all the way down at the bottom of the handle there, like almost to the point where it's it's getting to the to the end of the contour there. Um, that just OCD, like it just messes with my brain a bit. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. I do have knives, so being a hypocrite, I do have knives that have a similar situation, like the Evo. You can see it's a very low set pivot there. Um, you need to do that sometimes to make your action work or, or whatever, right? Um, the GOM is off, you know. I think the Rosie is like that too. And I, you know, obviously I love the Rosie. So it's a thing. And I'm sure we've done it on our own knives uh, with Devo. But now let me grab, here's the mash. It's a little more centered, but between these parts i don't know it, it's just an ocd thing so i just wanted to point it out all right um so we covered aesthetics right um the walk and talk let's talk about that um and i'll probably do a follow-up you can tell that um you can tell that he knew the deal when it came to the um, tang corners. So the walk and talk on a slip joint is, is very um, heavily um, the tang geometry matters is what I'm trying to say. The angle of these corners really matters at how it pops to the half stop and drops down. So when you get a knife that's kind of mushy, It doesn't have those perfect angles on the corners. They're not bad. Again, it's fine. But, like, you can tell here it jumps to that half stop and gives a quick wiggle and drops down, right? The spring on this is lighter than I like. I would love to see this spring be closer to a 7. Um, this is probably a 5 right there. Yeah, I would give this a five across the board. Definitely not. I want to go up to notches, you know. Uh, but that's my preference. That's not everybody's preference. And I will say, oops, I will say it does not. It feels a lot like the Barley prototypes that I've had. Um, they're being passed around right now. Um, that's the slip joint we designed with Devo for Urban EDC. And it's made by Riot. And I think Riot, maybe this is their tension. This is what they like. Um, and I did ask Urban EC to stiffen that up in production. Now, this is fine. Like, it actually is very satisfying. And I think a lot of people would be very happy with this because it um, has crisp corners and it's not too hard to open. Sometimes on a Jack Wolf if you don't have a really pinchable area, it can be a little hard to get out because it's got such a stout spring, right? You can hear the benefit of that spring in the walk and talk versus that knife. Um, also having the kick versus a stop pin, but listen. You see how it really hits every corner and pops because that spring has enough tension to really give it some oomph. Um, but that said, I really like this. Um, you could one hand it very easily. Um, another reason to have a stronger spring is so that when you're using it, you don't, you know, accidentally close it on yourself. Um, so there's reasons. Uh, but I gotta say, this is this is really well done. Um, I think it's cool. Um, it is flush here in this position. It is flush here in this position. And it is flush here, yep, in this position. So they did a good job there. Again, it's very crisp. I'm really enjoying that. Nice pop to it. Um, Left-handed or right-handed, Really good. I got to say, guys, I suck at opening my Jack Wolf's uh, right-handed. 
And it's probably because I'm weak, right? Like, I just suck at this. Um, and maybe because the springs are a little stronger, it makes it a little harder. This one's pretty easy because it's very pinchable. Let's try this one. Yeah, I don't know how righties... I guess you dig into the nail neck and pull up. <laughs> you see what I mean? On this, I just have... Boom. And because it's a lighter spring, I can grab that easy, right? With my weak hand, so to speak. So, um, that is the Notorious EDC Kingpin. Um, I honestly haven't seen any reviews on this. I haven't looked either, but I haven't had any come across my feed. Um, and I was curious what the deal was. I know slip joints aren't everybody's bag, but uh, they are becoming more popular. So, um, yeah, uh, blade to handle ratio looks pretty solid. Um, yeah, I think it looks normal. Um, ergos are comfortable, just very neutral, comfortable ergos. Um, you can pinch grip it nice and rounded up here so you can get down and use it like that. You have a, hmm, I think that it's a hollow. Decently thick stock. Um, I think that's a hollow grind. So not that it matters what it is. It feels good. So that's the important thing. Um, yeah. I think if he were to come out with like a camo carbon or fat carbon or something, I'd probably pick one up. I am debating just getting one anyway. Because um, I really do like this. This is uh, well done. And it's good to see other, other people doing good slip joints, you know, um, there's not many out there in my opinion that are even close to the Jack Wolf level, you know, um, this is sniffing at it, you know, I mean, I would definitely strengthen the spring up and, you know, change the materials a little bit personally, you know, again, that's all my opinion. Um, but it's right there. I mean, it's good. I like it. All right, so that's the uh, Notorious EDC Kingpin. I think he might have these available. I'm not sure. Um, I know he had the black ones available last time I looked, um, so I don't know if the other ones are as well. Let me see if there's any play. No, no play at all. Yeah, all right. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, thank you to the viewer who sent this in. I really appreciate that. Um, it helps a lot being able to um, get my hands on it versus just looking at pictures, you know? So, um, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.